Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing snippet. We will be covering the bank feeds option within Sage Trinity Evolution. Now, as the name implies, bank feeds is the feeding of information from your banking website into your database, into a cash book batch. Let's see exactly how this works. Firstly, we need to go create a bank account. So I'm going to go to General Ledger Maintenance Accounts, add a bank account. And very importantly, bank feeds is only applicable to general ledger account types that are using the cash and cash equivalent account type. So specify cash and cash equivalents. I then have my bank tab where I'd go insert details of the bank account name, bank account number, etc. And what you'll see, we've got an option that says maintain bank feed. So maintain the bank feed, select that option. I'll just save the record. And we're now going to go and configure the bank feed setup. So we've got details about the country and details about the registered common database. And I'm going to use the setup bank account option. Right, so just a landing page with some information there. And I'm now going to simply specify an email address that's going to be used for correspondence from the bank feeds option to your organization. So for example, um, and just confirm that email address. And then just a case of accepting the terms and conditions. Right, we can then get started. And now we're just going to configure or connect the bank feeds and configure the setup. I just need to go and run through the verification process. So click on the box that says, I'm not a robot. And we just need to go and configure the setup. So there we go. And we can then verify if all is in order. Right, so the verification process has been completed and we can continue. Right, so now it's going to just pick up details of the popular banks within the area or within the country. And we can then simply go and select the particular bank that we're making use of. Now, it's possible that perhaps the bank that appears there isn't the bank that you're using. You can simply say, try searching for your bank to find the particular bank that you're using. And then it's a case of inserting the bank name. What we have set up is a Sage demo bank. So I'm just gonna type in those details there. And this is just a demo bank that is used, for example, testing purposes, et cetera. So as you can see, there's a whole range of banks there and other financial service providers. Simply select the bank that you're making use of. So I've set to the demo bank account and I can go next. And waiting for it to complete. Right, say sign in. Let's just wait for it to connect. Right, so it tells me that I'm using the demo bank and I can continue. And I'm going to specify the demo bank option and say OK. Now, very importantly, I need to specify from which date do I want the transactions to begin filtering through into my database from bank feeds. So, for example, um, you need to really have a certain point where you've done all the reconciliation and you've got all the transactions reconciled. So, for example, 
if I've said that the last time that I used my banking manager application and imported transactions into my cash book was the 30th of September, I can then say, for example, the 1st of October, I can then begin with bringing in those transactions from my bank feeds platform. So I've said the 1st of October, and I can process and continue. And there we go, we've completed the process, and we've now finished, and our bank feeds process has been completed. It tells me that the configuration has been successful, and we can then continue. And what you'll notice here is that we've got details about the administrator email address, the bank account being used, and very importantly, that the status is set to act. Very important. So I can close that and OK to that. And I'm just going to go back into my bank account. And if I go into my bank option, maintain bank feeds, I've got my details there bank account that I set to active, and everything is in order. So close that, and I can say OK. Now, it's simply a case of going to open up a cash book badge. So I'm going to go to General Ledger Transactions, Cash Book Batches, and a new batch. And under my integration, I'm simply going to go select the bank account that has been newly created. There we go. Cashbook bank, cash book batch is now open. The bank account that's linked to the bank feeds has now been specified. I would then go to bank manager and We'll just wait for those transactions to come through. Right, so as you can see, I've got my normal bank manager screen there. Continue. And what has happened here is these are all the transactions that have come through from my banking website. And this is as at the date that I specified, in that case, the 1st of October. And now it's simply a case of using the normal process where you specify the module, the account number, et cetera, any other relevant information, and obviously um, add, add mappings as you would normally do previously with the bank manager. So once it's been completed and all the information updated, I'd simply go to submit, and it's going to bring through all of those transactions into my normal cash book batch. And I can then verify the batch and update those transactions and post them through to General Ledger. Right, so I'm just going to um, save this batch in the meantime, and I can then say close. And if I now open up a new batch, and once again, under my integration, I'm going to leave it as the default account, say OK there. And what you'll notice is now I need to go to Bank Manager and follow the normal bank manager process would be a simpler case of specifying the bank that I'm being, going to be using and then the statement file that's going to be used for the import. So as you can see, it's possible that certain GL accounts may be linked to bank feeds, others not. If the account isn't linked to bank feeds, you follow the normal bank manager process by specifying the bank, the relevant bank to be used and the input file that's going to be imported. If the bank account is linked to bank feeds, it automatically goes and downloads those transactions directly into the bank manager and updates the bank manager with those transactions. It simply then go complete the relevant information and submit it as per normal. So as you can see, quick and easy to set up your bank feeds and then simply go and open up a cash book batch and then those transactions will then filter through into a cash book batch. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. It's over and out and goodbye.